Hi, my name is Yuri Meltzer and I'm a software engineer at IBM. I recently graduated from Yeshiva University, Yeshiva University in January 2020. This summer, I was privileged, privileged to work with Dr. Medina, Tony Ariaza, and Ezra Splaver on a climate change machine learning project. We collaborated with researchers from the University of Washington to estimate the main ecological variables that influence the atmosphere-biosphere exchange of carbon dioxide. Researchers at the University of Washington actually provided us with LIDAR data, which they hand collected from the woods. LIDAR is an optical remote sensing laser technique usually used for self-driving car technology, but can be used to model any 3D structure. It returns a cloud of XYZ points. With Dr. Medina and my team, we tested out various machine learning models, including supervised and unsupervised learning to classify the data. We then used research paper um, provided by a colleague at the University of Washington to evolve and test filtering techniques on the data to see if we can get a more accurate classification of our original data. We used inbuilt functions as well as some savvy math techniques which we came up on our own to apply the filters and achieve better results. I've learned many tech um, and non-tech related skills this summer. Over the course of the project, I learned new machine learning methods such as dimension engineering, dimension reduction, random forests, neural networks, and PCI. I also learned that when using real world data, further creativity is required on top of the basic machine learning approaches taught in textbooks in order to achieve the results that you're looking for. Um, my favorite part of the project was analyzing the research paper. Academic research papers are written in a language which is um, very complicated and takes time to get used to. But once you do, a new world of information at the cutting edge opens up to you. I've gained a lot of insight into um, the direction that I want my CS career to take and the options that I didn't know and now do know are available to me. I think industry and academia each provide invaluable approaches and resources. Where industry has the resources and interesting projects, academia has the freedom to choose any project at the cutting edge um, that a scientist or professor wants to study. Um, both industry and academia have very talented and curious people. The summer has shown me that research is accessible, accessible to me, and I would like to have a crossover of both industry and academia um, in my future. My CS classes prepared me well um, in that they constantly presented me with new challenges, technologies, and techniques, which have given me the confidence to face any new problem with excitement and curiosity. Um, I think at the beginning of any new CS problem, many of us feel absolutely um, and utterly lost. Uh, the question is, what's your next step after that? Throughout my tenure at YU, I was faced with extremely challenging CS problems and having persevered through them, I discovered a sense of fearlessness and fun in facing computational problems. I'm very appreciative of Dr. Medina and the CS department as a whole. Um, during a discussion after class one day, um, Dr. Medina mentioned to me that she was looking for students to work with on some research projects. I didn't reach out right away because I was swamped, as you will be too um, if you're studying CS. When I did reach out a few months later, Dr. Medina showed excitement and unconditional willingness to help me learn and grow in computer science. Um, for months, Dr. Medina has looked over our code, discussed research, research papers, and offered mentorship as far as um, where we want our CS degree to grow. And she also has connected us with many of her colleagues. Um, this is something that you will see um, consistently, I think, throughout the computer science department, that every CS teacher um, that I've had the privilege of studying under has given their all to developing relevant and accurate course material and giving all their free time to students and their courses. They answer emails at all times of the day and night. Um, and I think it's their warm and uh, their warm approach towards the topic and towards their students that make people can, you know, continually want to study with them. Hi, my name is Ezra Splaver and I'm going into my fourth year in YU I'm a computer science student and doing the data science track. So this summer I did research for Professor Medina and also with two other students from YU, Tony Ariaza and Yudi Meltzer. And what we did was we did research using different machine learning techniques to classify forest points that were picked up by a laser scanner called a LIDAR scanner. And we classified them as different things like either a branch point, we classified it as a leaf or, or a ground point. And we're also co collaborating with the University of Washington. So we ended up using their LiDAR data, and they sent us also a report about it and their machine learning techniques that they used. And we ended up comparing what we did with them, and we compared our results. 
So in terms of my learning experience, so I think I learned a lot about uh, machine learning, a lot more about machine learning, both in terms of theory and also practice, like putting everything into practice using Python libraries like sklearn and Keras. And um, a lot of, a lot of uh, concepts that I didn't know as, as well before, like feature engineering, dimension reduction, we use autoencoders and PCA for that, and we did some post-processing and, and filters. And this was also, uh, it was also a very unique experience for me, because usually when I'm doing a project in computer science, it's by myself, but now I had the, the chance to work also with other students and collaborate with them, so I thought that made me more comfortable with working with other people, so that was nice. Um, also, um, in terms of like a computer science as a career, so I've been going back and forth a lot about if I should do something more in industry or something in research. So this research opportunity really was helpful because it 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 helped me realize that I do enjoy research, and I also had the opportunity to speak with Professor Medina um, about her experience in research in general. That helped me clarify what what I want to do in life, and I think for now I'm going to keep the door open for research and. This, this uh, year, I plan on applying to graduate school. Um, also, so the YU courses, I thought, also helped me very much for this internship. The, we had a machine learning course this past semester, which taught me many of the fundamentals of machine learning that made it much easier for me to transition into this internship and get, really get me started. And also a few other courses, like uh, algorithms and data structures, just got me got me thinking about how, how how I should best optimize the code in terms of runtime performance. And during this internship, I, I got to apply that. I, I was thinking, wait, maybe this code is running too slowly. Is there a way I, I could do something to speed things up? Maybe I could turn something that's O of n squared to O n log n, or even O of n. Um, and yeah, just overall, I'm, I'm really thankful for this opportunity. I, initially, I didn't even know what my summer plans were. So I really appreciate um, that Professor Diamond uh, and Professor Medina reached out to me um, for for this for this internship. Um, it really shows just how much the professors care. Like Professor Medina during this whole internship was super helpful. She she would have Zoom meetings with us every week to see how everyone was doing, and just if anyone had any questions, she would always kindly answer them. And she would she would also be available just to answer questions that we had through email. Professor Diamond also um, he he sent everyone in the computer science department all the students. Uh, different emails about opportunities for for internships or jobs, and he he really cared about all the students, um, just trying to find things for people. So I I really appreciate that, and I think that reflects just something great about YU, which is that it's it's a smaller school, so the it's it the professors really have your attention, and you you have the ability to make um, lasting connections with the professors. This summer I worked on um, classifying lidar data with. In, with Dr. Medina, Isaac Flavor, and Yudi Meltzer, we had a tree that was scanned using a LiDAR device, and we just had the geometric points that were that the device was able to read. And our goal was to classify the um, whether something was a stem, a leaf, or a branch as accurately as possible. Um, in order to do this, we had to. I had to learn a lot of new technical skills in term in computer science, such as feature generation, autoencoding, and um, testing with normalization and standardization on the data, and to see what worked best with this specific type of data. Um, in terms of some of the non-tech things that I had to learn was compiling reports and presenting my results and appropriately communicating my process and what I was able to put to get from the work that I had done and to, to make sure that my results were valid and to be able to appropriately communicate everything in reports. It's not, that's not something that I really had to do before in, and it was, it was very valuable to get some good communication experience that um, is different from all of the technical things that normally you have to do in computer science um, as, a, as, a, as a degree because it's, it, it's kind of like out of out of what I'm uh, a little bit out of what I'm used to. In terms of my career, I think I'm really going to be looking forward to trying to apply to graduate school now. 
I've been considering it before, um, and after doing research, I think I really want to pursue more research and um, really um, look into some of the stuff that I found really interesting. This internship had a lot to do with data science, and I've always been a big fan of math, so um, being able to see what research is like and what it would be like to continue down a path of uh, down that path in terms of more education was very appealing to me and I think that I've had I've also had internships in the past where they were more standard software engineering internships and I thought I thought I gained a lot out of this as it was really more of my cup of tea of being able to really explore a problem into depth um, in terms of the preparation given to me by YCCS classes it was incredible um, I think statistics was probably one of the more helpful classes mathematical statistics um, because of it, in order to understand like um, normalization, standardization, and a lot of the different um, statistical methods used in, in that and in, in even in feature generation, statistics ended up being very helpful. The other one was machine learning. Um, I used a lot of methods that I learned in, the, in our, my machine learning course last semester to try and figure out some um, what best way to use as an initial classifier for the data. And in terms of what I was going to do before this summer, before this internship, I was looking into other research programs um, with the help of Dr. Medina as well. And um, COVID then came along, and things, and this actually ended up working for the best because I already knew Dr. Medina, and I knew that it was uh, it was it was much a smoother transition to be able to work with her, and it was great. And honestly, part of the one of the great things that I've noticed about YCCS is that. Yeah, the professors always go the extra mile and they're always there to help and I don't think I could have gotten an experience like this anywhere else where I learned so much over the summer and it was much more of a, it, it did, I didn't feel as overwhelmed in the beginning because I already knew Dr. Medina and I already kind of was able to hit the ground running and I think the YCCS professors really do care and you really do see that and I think that's definitely one of the greatest things about the department just how much the professors are there for you and how great they are even even when you're not taking courses with them and when they'll just they'll really go so far out of their way to show that they care and really do their best for the students